Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a problem from Harvard MIT Math Tournament from 2023. In this problem, we have a cubic polynomial Px, and we know that the coefficients of this polynomial are integer numbers. We also know that P of radical 5 is 5, and P of the third root of 5 is 5 times third root of 5. Based on this, we are going to find P of 5. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. First, we know that this is a polynomial, so I'm going to write it as P of x as ax to the power of 3 plus bx to the power of 2 plus cx plus d, since it's a polynomial and it's cubic. And coefficients are integers. So I'm going to say that a, b, c, and d are integer numbers. Now we have this p of radical 5. If we want to write this p of x based on x equals to radical 5, it's going to be a times 5 radical 5 plus b times 5 plus c times radical 5 plus d. This is p of radical 5. and basically it is 5. Now if we simplify things a little bit, I can say that if I factor out radical 5 here, then I'm going to use 5a plus c and then I will have the rest. 5b plus d minus 5 equals to zero now let's remember this and then we are going to use it later the other thing that we can say based on what we are given is this uh, value that we have here i'm going to use x equals to the third root of five so p of the third root of five is going to be a times 5 plus b times the third root of 5 to the power of 2 plus c times the third root of 5 plus d. This is going to be 5 times the third root of 5. Now similar to what we did before, I'm going to simplify it and then write it as 5a plus d plus c minus 5 radical basically it's going to be the third root of 5 and then I will have this b the third root of 5 to the power of 2 or 25 this is going to be 0 this is the second equation that I have. Now let's take a look at these two equations and see how we are going to solve the problem. So from the first equation we know that a, b, c and d are integer values and we also know that radical 5 is not integer. So what we can say from what we have here is basically the coefficient of this radical 5 needs to be 0. So 5a plus c needs to be 0. And obviously if it's 0, the rest needs to be 0. So I will have 5b plus d minus 5 equals to 0. Similarly for what I have here, we know that this is not an integer. This is not an integer too, so everything here needs to be 0. So 5a plus d needs to be 0, c minus 5 needs to be 0, and then b needs to be 0. Now, if b is 0 and if c is 5, then we can say that from here d needs to be 5. And then if c is 5, 
then a is going to be negative 1 and here everything makes sense too so from everything that we have here we are going to have this polynomial p of x is going to be minus x to the power of 3 plus 0 plus 5x plus 5 which is going to be negative x to the power of 3 plus 5x plus 5 now we want to find p of 5 so it's going to be negative 125 plus 25 plus 5 which is going to be negative 95 and that's our final answer thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and olympiads please subscribe to the channel this is the sqrt channel and i hope to see you in the next video